guys, how's it going? It's me, your friendly neighborhood hypo flow. The lawnmower. That's a tree in the middle of the way. What the fuck? Let's go down here. Oh, there's boats down here. And there's stuff going on over there. Look at all these boats. Boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. Look at Boats and hoes. I don't even know what lake this is. They have a diving board. It's a decent size. Little cabin on there. Probably use those to get to there. Looks fun. Did I get around that tree? I think so. Yeah, I did. There go. Yeah. I kind of want to talk about today is um, fitness. Oh no. Well, fitness. Ooh, backfire right there. Yeah, right there. Fitness has been a huge part of my life so far. Um, I don't know. I just the, the benefits to. Oh, I remember this mud hole. This needs four wheel drive. The benefits to. to uh, let me get through this. Oh, my God! Bottom out there. Oh, this is a deep one. Hey, don't, don't get stuck. Yeah, no, you're not allowed to get stuck. What I say? No getting stuck? Yeah, bitch. It's kind of deep there. Though. The exhaust is underwater. It's been a while since we've been in a hole that deep. Oh, this looks fun too. If I remember correctly, there's a lot of sticks in this one. I guess not today. But this hill climb's fun. Oh, middle wheelie there. Don't want to roll backwards. There we go. Okay, so, fitness. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, fitness, going to gym and stuff like that, it's been a huge part of my life. And, you know, it's a lot of fun. For one, the biggest thing about, like, going to the gym and stuff like that is that it's... Any, like... Like, I've been going to the gym for, like, regularly. My regular, I mean, like, five times a week. Oh, for... Just about a year solid now, like non-stop. And before that, I was on and off at the gym. I was in a fitness class for a semester. So we were like in the gym every day, but it wasn't like, you know, working out how I work out now. But it was still, I, I guess, it, if you want to consider that, then it's been a year and a half. But if you don't consider that, and just consider me going to my own gym. Oh, that's, yep, skid plate. Oh, skid plate. Going to the gym on my own time, in my own accord. Then it's been a year. So it depends on how you want to look at it. Oh, oh fuck. That's a stick in my face. Um, but yeah, so it's been... Oh, fuck. If I could finish a sentence, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> It's been about a year. I've been in the gym, solid, five days a week, going ham, fucking getting swole as fuck, no, but, um, should I use four wheel drive? Nah. But the gym is just huge, like, on stress release, anger release, like, any pent up anger you have, go to the gym, fucking, you hit, like, a 700 pound leg press or something like that for 12 reps and you're like I'm a bloody beast or like partial squats for like 500 pounds and you're like fucking yeah I'm a beast and then you feel good after 
It's a huge, like, one of the main reasons I started going to the gym was because I had a lot of stress, anger, and frustration, and stuff like that, and I was trying ways that I could deal with it and cope with it and, like, kind of help myself rid myself of it in a way that doesn't involve driving two hours to get on this thing. Because, of course, riding one of these is a huge stress relief, and if I had a motorcycle, thanks Canadian Ontario laws for being fucking assholes and not making it affordable for me to get one, but one day. But, um, yeah, I was trying to find a way that I could really help myself out with that, and the gym was the answer. And, you know, of course I didn't start off doing 700 pound leg presses for 12 reps and shit like that. But, you know, everyone starts somewhere and you gotta, that's how I was too, like, you know, I think back to like when I started, like, you know, I, I always use curls for an example. I uh, freaking started like curling like whatever, like 15 pounds for like how many reps, like 15 reps or something like that, and like it would be a challenge. And you know what, that was fine because that's what I could do. And now obviously I can do a lot more. And I don't want to brag with how much, I think I've done enough bragging. But I'm very proud of what I have accomplished in the gym, if you can't tell. But. Oh, fuck. No, but, like, just everyone... Because I feel like a lot of people's biggest thing about the gym is that, like... Oh, I, I'm i going to look small or weak in front of all the other people there. Or I'm intimidated by everyone else. But what you have to keep in mind is that they all started somewhere, too. You know, the huge guys you see at the gym or bodybuilders you see on, like, Instagram and stuff like that and Facebook. Alright, so the GoPro battery died, and um, while well, I was like in the middle of talking back there, so I'm gonna try to pick up kind of where we left off. And sorry if I repeat anything or some things don't make sense. Oh my god! Oh, big yawn. Alright, so yeah, anyways, so what I think I was talking about before was how when people start off at the gym, they feel a little intimidated by uh, people around them, like other guys in the gym, because obviously, you know, every gym has their big, huge guys that, you know, max out on everything and use all the weight and stuff like that. It's intimidating, it is. So, but... What you always have to keep in mind is that everyone started somewhere and that you should feel intimidated because they should know, like the people that you feel intimidated by, they know they started like where you were too. You know, no, you're not born with like fucking huge biceps and fucking all that stuff, right? So they know, and you have to remember too that everyone starts somewhere. So you shouldn't feel intimidated in the gym. Because everyone was like, everyone started, everyone had to start. But the gym is really good for letting out channeling anger and frustration and stuff like that. It really makes you feel more calmer the rest of the day because you can channel any sort of angers or stresses or anything like that into the gym and you can get a good workout out of it and the benefits of that is that you can take care of you know being angry and stressed and stuff like that you can solve all those problems and you can be fit at the same time so realistically it's a win-win situation you know it's not like like you're literally improving the health of your body while both you're you're improving the health the the health of you both mentally and physically 
all at the same time. It's just a win-win situation for everyone. You can't lose. I feel like this is really bright. You can't, you can't lose with it. And it's been a great help for me. And honestly, I suggest going to the gym for anyone. Because anyone can go to the gym. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter, you know, how much you weigh or what your body's like or anything like that. Anyone can go to the gym. Anyone can start going to the gym. You can do whatever you please at the gym. You know, and of course there's different things that you can look at online for, uh, you know, there's different programs you can find online. There's free programs, stuff like that. Anything you really want to follow your bases that's what I'd suggest mostly but honestly going to gym being fit it's it helps you out in so many different ways and it has helped me out incredibly with you know my life and my mental health and physical health and all that jazz and honestly I just you can't you can't go wrong with going to gym you, you can't is there side by side here? These look like side by side tracks. It's like no one's wider than me. But yeah, gym definitely a good thing. I 100%. If you feel stressed or or frustrated with things or get frustrated easily with things, get a gym membership. Find the pro and like honestly, it it it, it creates a lot of order and stuff into your life too. Because you know you're like okay like. Playing your day not only around like what you have to do during that day, whether it be class or work or anything like that, but then you have gym, like scheduling gym time too. And you know, you keep your day ordered like that, you can provide a lot more organization into your day and what you want to do throughout the day. It's definitely more beneficial in that sense too. So, I hope I've covered all I wanted to say with this topic. I know it, it, it's coming back from couple hours and my brain was just kind of mush so yeah anyways guys I think that's about all I have to say for that so if you enjoy these videos make sure you go and hit that goddamn freaking mother goddamn the subscribe button it's right there you know I, I can I know you can see it it's right there if you haven't hit it hit that motherfucker do it do it I know you're subscribed to like 50 other channels already. Just hit that one. I kid. But seriously, if you like it, hit subscribe. Leave a comment. I always, always will comment back. At least as best as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.